What's poppin' YouTube? This is your girl Shivani and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, you happen to be at the right place because this is where we talk about sneakers and street style every Monday and Thursday of the week. So before we start the video, do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and also do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you get to be the first one to check out whenever I upload new videos. And to all my subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you would enjoy this video. So I'm wearing something which I have tie-dyed myself and you must have seen in the beginning of the video I have tie-dyed my socks so as to match my new pair of kicks guys and I'm so excited about that by the way I have done a proper tie-dye tutorial previously on my channel I'm gonna link it in the description box for you to check it out so I'm really excited about this video because we're gonna talk about one of the most sought after pairs of 2021 like till now you could say it could be the sneaker of the year guys so we're talking about the Jordan 1 retro high OG university blue A lot of you folks have requested for me to review these pair of sneakers, the Air Jordan 1 University Blue, not only on my YouTube, but also on my Instagram. By the way guys, if you are not following me on Instagram, you are definitely missing out. I populate a lot of streetwear and sneaker related content on my Instagram, so do check it out. I think I have this thing for Jordan 1s. like. My first pair of Jordan 1s were the Air Jordan 1 Shadow and I got that pair I think in 2018 and uh, this one should be the third or the fourth Jordan 1 review videos on my channel. Again, if you haven't checked out the previous Jordan 1 reviews, I'm gonna link it in the description box for you. So as I was saying, I have this thing for the Jordan 1 silhouette. I think I really love this silhouette, not only from the whole heritage point of view, but I also think Jordan 1 as a silhouette is very very easy to style it actually elevates any kind of outfit so this definitely is one of my favorite silhouettes of all time and again guys I'm really happy that I finally got my pair The global launch date got pushed a little bit in the beginning of the year but in India we had them in mid-March and these were retail at 13,995 INR. Also guys legit I just got them like two days ago and I haven't properly checked it out. I didn't wear them and I didn't want to wear them before I did this review for you guys so I hope you would appreciate it. And I think somebody asked me on my like one of my previous YouTube videos I'm not sure which one but somebody asked me if I have the pair of the Chicago Jordan ones I don't have the Chicago Jordan ones which is another reason why I really love this pair because the color blocking in these is that of the Chicago Jordan ones and I mean look at this pair guys this is so so fresh right I think this whole baby blue colorway is really beautiful it really looks good on a pair of shoe right I'm sure you're aware how hyped and how sought after this particular sneaker was. It was really difficult to cop and I think currently it's reselling at four fold figures if I'm not wrong. But honestly, I fell in love with this pair when I saw the pictures online and when I got my pair guys, I can't tell you how happy and excited I was. Although the quality is not very premium and there are a couple of blue stains here and there which I really don't appreciate. guys this is the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG University Blue and as you all know already this University Blue colorway is inspired by the University of North Carolina Michael Jordan's alma mater or which is where he got drafted into Chicago Bulls so that is the OG connection of this pair but over the years there have been a lot of UNC inspired Jordan 1 releases including the one with off-white Thank you. 
By the way guys, don't you feel this year we have seen too much of this UNC inspired colorway already? I mean, it started with, okay, it started with this actually, right? Women's, the Nike Dunklo Coast colorway. Then we also have the Nike Dunklo UNC. Then we got this one. Again, we have a Jordan 1 Hyper Royal slated to release in April. I'm sure you're aware of that. As I was saying, I love this colorway on a pair of sneakers. Again, guys, this colorway of uh, the University Blue is not exactly same to that of the University University of North Carolina colorway. I'm just gonna give you an idea. So this is the outsole of the shoe, which is actually of a different color tone to that of the upper of the shoe. So this one is more of dust blue kind of a thing, you know, and this one is more bright. This actually looks more like that of the UNC colorway. So if I have to compare with my women's Dunklo Coast colorway, guys, which is also very similar to the Nike Dunklo UNC, you can see this and this colorway is pretty much exactly the same. Yeah, now, so let's get get into the sneakers guys let's start with the box very traditional Jordan 1 black box with red lettering and you can see all the details uh, branding and everything on all the three sides and on the fourth side you can see the size details so for me it is UK 6 which is US 7 regular or you could say standard white wax paper Alright guys, so these babies definitely look beautiful and although the quality isn't great, but it's definitely above average for sure, that much I can tell you. At least the leather doesn't feel synthetic is what I mean, feels pretty legit to me. So two primary colorways on the shoe, you've got the white base leather which covers most of the shoe including the toe box area. And the white leather is stumbled and it feels quite soft. Then you've got the University Blue colorway in the Chicago color blocking on the shoe. And the University Blue overlays are Nubuck, which feels very buttery. The swoosh is in black tumbled leather and I feel this is of the same quality as that of the white tumbled leather used. The nylon tongue is a signature Jordan 1 tongue in white with Nike branding in UNC Blue colorway. And here goes the Jumpman Wings logo in black which is embossed. The insole is in black with the same UNC colored Nike branding that we have seen on the tongue. And the outsole as I've showed you before is in murdered out UNC colorway. A lot of people have also compared these with the Mocha, the Jordan 1 Mocha from the previous year, which were the sneaker of the year of 2020. I totally agree. I think the colorway is nice. It is very subtle, subtle blue. And also because this is inspired by the University of North Carolina. And I'm sure you know how popular and how sought after these are. So definitely this is going to be the sneaker of the year of 2021. Coming to the sizing, I went for two to size which is UK 6 for me guys and I mentioned it in almost all my videos I mostly go for true to size for all my sneakers and I think for Jordan 1's it's always ideal to go for true to size but if you have the opportunity to go to a store and check out I think that would be ideal not only for Jordan 1's I think that would be ideal for any sort of sneaker guys but I know it has become really difficult to go to a store and pick up these hype sneakers such as Yeezy's, Jordan's or even Dunk's now that we have this extra set of laces in the University Blue colorway, I'm going to switch it up and I'm going to show you how they look on feet. That's all I had in today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and do not forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Now in the comments down below, do not forget to let me know what you think of these Jordan 1s, the Jordan 1 University Blue. Were you able to cop? And also do not forget to let me know what is your cop radar looking like in 2021. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and also do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you get to be the first one to know whenever I upload a new video. Till then, bye! Thank you.